another tricky question that was asked in the gate economics paper of 2021 was consider the following demand supply function demand function is given as p is equal to q square minus 12q plus 35 and supply function is given as 4p uh, minus 3q is equal to 0 the stable market equilibrium price quantity combination will be the options are given we have to see uh, which of the price quantity combinations uh, have the stable market equilibrium so first of all what will we do as usual we will equate demand is equal to supply our demand function is given as this is q square minus 12 q uh, plus 35 and we will so here we can write this supply function is equal to 4 p minus 3 q is equal to 0 so i can write it like this 4 p is equal to 3 q or uh, p is equal to uh, 3 by 4 q so this is our supply function okay this is our demand function i will not write it here so we equate demand is equal to supply this is then 3 by 4 q now solving this will become this we will multiply this 4 so this will become 4 q square minus 48 q uh, plus 140 is equal to 3 q now solving again we will get 4 q square minus 48 q and subtracting this will become 3 q plus 140 is equal to 0 or 4 q square uh, minus 51 q plus 140 is equal to 0 so this is our quadratic uh, equation we can use the quadratic formula for solving this question so uh, i will not write what is the quadratic formula i will just insert the quadratic formula here therefore q is equal to minus b that is this minus uh, b so this will become minus into minus is plus this will become 51 uh, plus minus b square means 51 square 51 square is 2601 minus 4 times a into c that means 4 into 4 into 140 uh, which comes out to be uh, 2 2 four zero so i am just uh, trying to save the space i hope you know this quadratic uh, formula twice a we will divide by two into four which is eight now when solving this will become 51 uh, plus minus this is uh, 361 361 divided by eight or i can say this is our q our q is equal to 51 plus minus now 361 is 19 divided by 8 so we get two values of q either we get q is equal to 51 plus 19 51 plus 90 so i will write 51 plus 19 divided by 8 will be one value and another will be q is equal to 51 minus 19 divided by 8 so here it is mm, and this comes out to be 70 divided by 8 70 divided by 8 or here it is 32 divided by 8 so we got two values of q here because it's a quadratic function we got two values here so q is equal to 70 divided by 8 then corresponding price will be equal to so this is the supply from we can put the value of q is equal to this 70 divided by 8 into the price function so this will become 3 by 4 into 70 divided by 8 when solving and uh, this will come out to be uh, this comes out to be 105 divided by 16 similarly when q is equal to 32 divided by 8 which is equal to 4 so here i can write it is equal to 4 i will write this is 4 now inserting on this very equation so this is 3 by 4 into 4 or we get price is equal to 4 so we got two values of q we got p q combination is 105 divided by 16 and 70 divided by 8 and another uh, combination we got pq is equal to 
sorry here 4 and 4 gets cancelled we get 3 so we give, we get 3 and 4 so these two options are given so there cannot be two options correct because it is a mcq only one option can be correct either this option is correct or either this option is correct for that uh, we need to draw the graph of this quadratic equation roughly so we can do this if this is our quantity this is our price the graph of this uh, demand function is so intercept is 35 and this will, will, will look like this 35 so this is our demand function it is quadratic one and our supply function is this p is equal to 3 by 4 q so intercept is 3 sorry intercept is 0 and slope is uh, 3 by 4 so supply function would look like this okay now we have to choose here this combination this combination of quantity is equal to 4 price is equal to 3 this is one combination here we have 70 70 divided by 8 and 105 divided by 16 okay now we have to see which of uh, these two points is the stable equilibrium stable uh, equilibrium occurs where we have downward sloping demand function here we can see up to this point the demand function is downward sloping and supply uh, function is upward sloping so i we can guess here that this point would be the stable equilibrium here on this point so if i break this out here so this would look like this this is the supply function and this is here the demand function here the demand function and supply functions are both upward sloping here the demand function is downward sloping supply function is upward sloping so this is stable equilibrium stable equilibrium and this is unstable equilibrium because the question asks us about the stable market equilibrium i guess uh, the correct option would be uh, this very combination three and four if i can see here here this is three and four because at this point both demand and supply uh, uh, sorry the demand curve is uh, downward sloping uh, and supply curve is upward sloping but at this point both demand demand and supply functions are upward sloping i hope i make myself clear so i will just to use some time in showing you how i have calculated how i have used this quadratic formula for those uh, people which don't know how to use the quadratic formula so i will just rub it here so we were given uh, this very quadratic equation okay so i will write it here in case i miss uh, the main point is 4q square minus 51q plus 140 i have used the quadratic formula in the quadratic formula uh, what we do the first uh, term first we write uh, the equation in standard form uh, by standard form we write the variable with highest power then the variable with low power and consequently so we arrange the powers in increasing order okay so let uh, here the uh, coefficient of q square is a is equal to 4 here the coefficient is b is equal to minus 51 and coefficient of c or constant term is 140 then we use the quadratic formula quadratic formula will be q is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c divided by twice a so we use this very quadratic function here so here that we have minus here then we have another minus of minus 51 okay then plus minus b square means this uh, 51 square or minus 51 square minus 4 times a is 4 and c is 140 okay divided by 2 times a our a is 4 
so i have just uh, used this very quadratic formula in solving uh, this very question okay i hope i make myself clear so one thing to be remembered uh, from this question is that the uh, the gate uh, questions are not uh, uh, so easy to calculate though they are easy but one must use its mind time and energy in right way to solve those questions 